770-779-6607. We're back tonight getting ready to crank it up. So come in and join us. We'd love to hear from you. At this time, we're going to pass it over to co-host of our show, Ari Alexander. <laughs> <laughs> What's up with that? Ow! Ow! My situation so if you have any comments or concerns give us a ring at this number here and also if you like what you hear or if you just want to support us give us some hearts you just tap your little screen rapidly like that and so yeah we're gonna jump in and do this <laughs> You're saying that I can't have a hairstyle because of your culture? Yeah. Why? Because of my school. Do you know I was in Egyptian culture? Are you Egyptian? No, I'm not. Are you Egyptian? No, but it doesn't matter. You know what? You have no right to tell me what I can do. Huh? Yeah, bro, stop testing me. You're off it. That's no reason to go. I don't need your disrespect. I don't need your disrespect. Why are you doing this? They're going to say Okay. Who is that girl? So basically, um, I was reading up about it. So this was at um, San Francisco State University. And she basically was telling him, the guy recording it caught it in the middle, but she was telling the white guy that he can't have dreadlocks because it belongs to black people. So it's kind of cultural you know, appropriation in the wrong, like in the opposite way, I guess you could say. And so he was just trying to present a point and obviously she didn't do well by rebutting his point by just snatching him and stuff like that. It was very, it was kind of awkward and then it changed like, oh, don't touch me. And he was like, I didn't touch you. What are you talking about? So, um, Desi and I were actually talking about this earlier. It's like, you know, a lot of people will hashtag Black Lives Matter <coughs> and all that type of jazz, but it's kind of like, what, why can't he have his hair that way? Mm -hmm. What's wrong with it? You know what I mean? So, I don't know. Obviously, it was highly awkward. It was awkward for me to watch. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, I don't know. Do you feel like a lot of people feel this way? Or they get some, like, too in their feelings? No. When no. another culture, I Takes guess. Yeah, because, you know, with women, it's, you know, braiding of the hair. You know what I mean? Like, okay, for example, on American Idol series finale, Kelly Clarkson had, you know, braids on the side of her head. Mm -hmm. I didn't really see too much of anything for that but you know <laughs> but people get angry with that I think that um, it's come to a point where black people become condemned for the type of styles that they have mm. <laughs> actually my friend today that's funny she has just transitioned to natural 
and she would wear a head wrap, and her job will say, wear that. But I'm pretty sure if there was someone who was Muslim and they came in and they had a head wrap, they're not going to tell them to take that off. Right. That's one. Number two, she right. wore a headband, and it was very, it had colors in it, okay. right? Okay. Um, and the woman said, you need to wear black headbands. You can't wear that headband. She wore a wig to work. Yeah. She wore a wig to work. Yeah. You can't wear a wig to work. What? That, all these things, and I'm like, are you serious right now? And um, it, you, there's like these memes or like these pictures of like, there will be a black person wearing a style, and then the white person wears it, and they get praised mm. when the black person mm. gets accepted for it. So mm. with the dreadlocks, it might be black person. Yes, people say like white. Smelly. Yes, and then a white person has it, and they're like they're all the nerds. <laughs> the nerds. Well, you know? I think it depends. You mm -hmm. know, it depends on your your level of you know your rank in life. Mm -hmm. You know, Justin Bieber can do that. Mm -hmm. And he has, but mm -hmm. this guy, to I think even to white people, he would be labeled as a misfit or, yes. Yes. or unclean, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, because of his attire with it. Mm -hmm. You know, he's he's really taking on um, our culture for mm -hmm. real, for real. And mm -hmm. the white people might have a problem with that too. Mm -hmm. It's just for him. Black people have a problem with it as well now. So what? Yeah. Is so what's there, the difference? Someone is so, saying they can't hear you all very well. So if you just speak up and speak a little clearly, so okay. Can hear. Um, all right. Up. Okay. Sorry, guys. So um, would that be fair though? Because I don't know. I I don't know. I just feel like black people are getting really offended by people embracing our culture. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, what if they relate more? Yeah, other than black people. Other than like non-black black people embracing, embracing black, black culture. I mean, obviously, there are double standards when it comes to that kind of situation, but I don't know. I think it's the time right now oh, okay. because like, you know how there'd be like a group of black people and then you got that one white friend. The white and people, friend. Yeah, like then people <laughs> embrace him because they're like, yo, he can relate with he us. Kind of it's black. fine. Okay. But where we are in life right now, mm -hmm. where Black Lives Matter is so important at this point in life, that's probably why it's starting to become like what yo, what's going on? Mm -hmm. Why are you getting lip injections right now? Why you want mm -hmm. a big butt yes. right now? Because we have this naturally mm -hmm. and y'all call us nasty or whatever it is. But now you are coming right up behind us and taking mm -hmm. or trying to mimic mm -hmm. what we have. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a very good point. Mm -hmm. Very good point. Give us a call, guys. Or just take your finger like this and hit your screen. Like that. That gives us those pretty <laughs> colorful hearts. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. Oh, okay, great. This is actually something Todd brought up before we started broadcasting. And I was trying to keep a tight mouth so I could talk about it here. So um, this is a Kroger in Athens, Georgia, and they put up this. It says, we have a unisex bathroom because sometimes gender-specific toilets put others into uncomfortable positions. And since we have a lot of our friends coming to see us, we want to provide a place for our friends who are dads with daughters, moms with sons, parents with disabled children, those in the LGBTQ community, adults with aging parents who may be mentally or physically disabled. Thank you for helping us provide a safe environment for everyone. And um, we'll jump into the, the debate, I guess, in a minute, and I'll read these as we go along. But a lot of people, as you can see, I posted some comments here, but a lot of people were not feeling this unisex bathroom because people were pointing out that out of the five options here, one is a choice as opposed to the other four. Adults with aging parents, moms with sons, dads with daughters, and parents with disabled children. Everything else is a choice, or the LGBTQ community is a choice. So that's kind of what the thread was. There's a lot of comments, like 4,000 comments, but that seemed to be a thread 
figure out the comments. So, what do you guys think? I don't. I don't even Are know what that stalls? sign looks like. It, I'm trying to see. Are there multiple stalls in this bathroom? One lady was like, "Why not just call it a family restroom?" Yeah. <laughs> right. That's right. how you know. That's what it is. That's exactly what it is. Exactly. And period. 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 12 years ago, when I brought my mother down here from D.C., mm -hmm. uh, we uh, went to a rest stop, you know, on the highway. <laughs> this was so funny. But I, anyway, I took my, my mother into the bathroom, into the lady's bathroom. I had to go in there with her. Right. And the lady uh, came, and she looked at the bathroom door, and looked at me, and looked at the bathroom door, and looked at me, <laughs> like, like what, what are you doing in here? Mm -hmm. And I specifically had to tell her, my mother had a, had, had a stroke. Right. I'm assisting her. Mm -hmm. And at that point, she understood why I was in there. Mm -hmm. You see? But if, mm -hmm. if I did not explain to her the reason why I was in there, mm -hmm. but like you said, going back to this, right. uh, aging, uh, uh, um, children with aging parents, mm -hmm. yeah. you, you have to help them out. Mm -hmm. There's no way around that. Right. Right. But this thing, that, this other thing that you're talking about, uh, I don't know. So we'll probably talk about this more, but... One person says, it's not my judgment to say how you live your life, just don't push it on me. And then another lady from a po opposing, um, I guess, standpoint, I think, she says, you people are ridiculous. I remember sending my son into a public restroom when he was young enough. It made me, when he was young enough, it made me nervous, but too old to go in the ladies' room. It was scary. Um, I was so happy when Walmart came up with a family restroom. Also, this is a great idea for people caring for disabled children and elderly parents. Or when uh, caring for a spouse who is disabled as well. Not sure why people have to make this out to be so perverse or dirty. Maybe you have you have your dirty mind maybe you need to have your dirty minds examined i'm sure jesus is happy to see that this is now a safer less embarrassing um act etc okay for people to care for their loved ones in public now she doesn't really address had nothing to do yeah. with the problem she yeah which is what a lot of these comments were um they skipped over that bullet point mm. Wow. And address all the other ones. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't even that we're really doing cool. this for the LGBTQ community, but yeah. we're just going to say. That's why it's unisex, because there are family restrooms. Right. So family, children with elderly parents, that's a family. Right. You know, like, I mean, right. I mean also it's a right. natural family. Uh, yes, mm -hmm. yes. It's, it's, it's continually across the board. Yeah. So Over they're saying it's cloaked. They're cloaking it under. A lot of people were saying that. Okay. Yeah. And a lot of people were making comments like her and just bypassing that that's why we're having a unisex bathroom. Oh, um, so this person posted this picture in their thread and says, Sean Stinson, the world's first FTM, female to male bodybuilding champion. That's female to male? Yes. Are you for real? Yes. So, Holy I was like, oh, he's so fine. <laughs> No, wait, you wait, gotta wait, get wait, with wait, me. Wait, wait, wait. You wait, gotta wait, get with me. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, that thing, I was like, I'm saying myself, he is so, so fine. Is it hormones? Oh, 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 so now they're talking about North Carolina, Todd. Yeah. And they're saying North Carolina just passed a law saying people must use public restrooms based on the gender on their birth certificate. Yeah, hello. So, hello. At the time of birth without exception. Hello. I can't wait to see what happens when someone who looks I'm like this walks into a lady's room. <laughs> who would know though? Who though? would know though? Nobody would know. Okay. Right. I'd like this. Wait, if they wait, look wait, like a wait, female, wait, let them go wait, into the female wait, bathroom. Look. So what's she gonna? What, what's she gonna do? Go Come on now. Come on now. Why would she? No, she already changed. Change. She's, she's a man. Change. Our sex has already changed. Uh, <laughs> yes. Hold on. Are they gonna make people want to 
want she her birth certificate? I don't know. See, nobody would know. So that's you, that's what you wouldn't know. That's the regulation point of it. If like, you look like a you man, you should go into the men's bathroom. Okay. You look like a woman, go into the woman's bathroom. I mean, that's how it's all. I don't want to coming into the bathroom with me. Hold on, one person. I think if you look like a man, you should go into the men's bathroom. And if you look like a woman, you go into the woman's. Because look at that. Who can walk around with it? Like Tanya said, who can walk around with their birth certificate? Nobody gonna know. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Nobody's really gonna <laughs> know. Look at him. I'm like, oh, he's so fine. And that's a woman. I am like. He's so, so fine. But my question. <laughs> he is. I have a question though. Which one? Yeah. Which one do you think he would walk into? The man. 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 The even without this note, if you walk into a man's bathroom, nobody would know. Nobody would know. Exactly. Neither would right. no one care. My thing is, you look like a woman, you walk in there. Nobody would mm -hmm. But there, there are a lot of instances where men dress like women, talk like men, mm -hmm. and still have all their male parts. Mm -hmm. yeah. they dress that like would them. then, in turn, yes. make a lot of women uncomfortable. I right. just, if they're going into the, the bathroom, nobody would know. Into the bathroom. I'm like, if you look like a woman, just go, come, come on. <laughs> some of these men don't actually look like women. I know, they but, but I'm going to dress like a this, woman going to the bathroom. Now, what I'm going to do is kind of what they have to do based on what... The laws. Based on where right. they are, right. Once mm -hmm. they pass that law, Once this is going to be an issue. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I can't believe that. Once they pass the, the law. Yeah. yeah. I am still so tripping. Yeah. Not only progress, but any organization. Right. I'm still so tripping over that. I'm gonna be like crocodile. Do things in the context of the law. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised in like five, ten years. Nobody can walk around with a birth certificate. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. 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 That's the only way you're gonna have this fair. You know what I'm saying? Because either either way, like a guy can dress as a girl, a perverted guy can dress as a girl, call himself gay, and be welcome into this bed. Or transgender. Do you know what I mean? Transitioning. Based on how he feels or how he's telling you. That ends up raping you. But mm -hmm. but I'm saying, Do you know what I'm saying? Running with his point, why not just make another bathroom? Because then they'll feel discriminated against. Yeah, but then the, I mean, wouldn't it be? Wouldn't it make sense though? Because you're putting everyone else in like an awkward. But they don't care about us. Their goal is to be included. They want to be included. They they be included. Period. <laughs> So anything setting them apart is discriminatory. That's right. They, they, they have the right now so because long. of the law. Right. Wow. Yeah. 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 So the, the the but they have the right. They have the upper hand. Yeah. Yeah. Once they pass that law, hey, the yeah. lines are yeah. hey, the lines They put sand on her right now. So mm. everything is, like he says, catered to our grandchildren. So what do you think about our children? I'm grandchildren. Listen, I'm going home. I'm going home. I mean, because at the end of the day, I never know what's going to happen. Yeah. And this is just all, it It makes, it sounds weird to say it, but it's just unsafe. Okay, they don't have a problem with church and worship. They're done with the organized, typical way we've seen it. Right. Then you have the nuns who like, I don't have nothing to do with it at all. Right, right. But the duns pr pretty much primarily are done with the structure. So they don't yeah. want the pastor, elder, yeah, deacon. Right. They, they want more of the relationship church mm -hmm. where you have not pastors. You have now leaders. Mm -hmm. You have leadership teams. Exactly. So they connect with that. I'm the duns. I'm the duns. Right. So they connect with that better. <laughs> so even the titles are, 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 are going away. Yeah. They're, they're being stripped because... Even in the corporate world, the, the hierarchy of the CEO and all of that, it's not working anymore for this generation. It's more collaborative. Mm. So the church is going to be looking like that as well. <laughs> so you have to have different people that can connect with different groups within your church. If you're going to have a, you know, if you're going to have a group church. I agree with that. So that's kind of where we're going. That wraps up our segment this week. We'll see you guys next time. Okay, next time, same place. Yeah. All right, let's hear for Ari. Yeah. Tune in next week for another session.